Hi there, glad to see you interested in Trimble Business Center. In this video, I will show you how to download and install TBC as well as the licensing options available. Let's navigate to the Trimble Business Center webpage. When you're on the webpage, click on the Download Latest Version button. This will take you to the Trimble ID page. Sign in with your current GID if you have one, otherwise you can create a new Trimble ID. Once you've completed the sign-in, you will be taken to the TBC download page. When you scroll down, you will see that Trimble Business Center will install in view-only mode if you do not have a 30-day trial license or a full TBC license. To request a 30-day free trial license, click over here. If you're interested in purchasing a full TBC license, you can click here. There are two options to download TBC, online and offline. The online download significantly reduces download time and installation files, but requires a fast internet connection. The offline download downloads the entire installation package as a zip file. After extraction, run the setup file to launch the installation. I will use the offline download option for this video. Once you clicked on it, you can select where you want to download the file. You will see the download starting down at the bottom. Once it is complete, you can unzip the download file. When the download is completed, navigate to the zip file and run the extraction. When the extraction is complete, navigate to the setup file and double click to start the installation. Now you can choose which language you want to install for TBC. If you would like to install more languages, select and tick the boxes here for the languages you want to install. Choose your language and click Next. Welcome to the installation wizard. Click Next. Read through the license agreement, exit and click Next. Now select Trumbull Business Center. Here you will see the path where it will install Trumbull Business Center. If you want to change it, Click this button to change the path. Add a shortcut desktop is ticked. If you don't want that, untick this box. When you're happy with your options, click Next. Next up, you will see the program features that you can install for TBC. This shows a list of all the program features and modules that will be installed on TBC. If you would like to minimize the space required for the TBC installation, you can untick the unwanted features and then click install when you're happy with your selection. Now it will ask you if you're ready for the installation. If you'd like to change anything, you can always go back and redo some of your selections and get back to this page and click install. When the installation is complete, you will see the Install Shield Wizard Complete window. To launch DBC, simply tick this box and click Finish. DBC will now start up. When DBC has opened up, 
you will be on the welcome page. New projects, open an existing project and your user profile manager is over there. And any latest news can be found in this box to the right. First of all, sign into your TID. Once that is done, go to support and click on the license manager. Now you'll have three options for licenses in TBC. First of all will be a perpetual or dongle license. This will be a USB dongle that you plug into your PC to pick up your TBC license. Next option would be perpetual hardware or software or network license. When you have a network license or a software license, you can click on upgrade, create a software key and enter your 19 digit code that you will receive from your dealer. If you have a network license installed, click on this option to select the correct network server where your license is installed. Lastly, we have the subscription option. If you click on there, it is linked to your TID and it will upload your existing license. Click apply and it will load your TBC license for you. In the features box, you will see which options and licenses you have available for TBC. Click OK. And that finishes up your license activation on TBC. Please have a look at the next videos where we will delve into more of TBC software.